Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to another of my videos. Well, you're very close right now, and you're close because today we are going to try two new products for me. And we're going to try the Perfect 4 in 1. This is the Maybelline New York Perfecto 4 in 1 Whipped Matte Makeup or Instant Anti Aging. You can see here the packaging. I have it in light clear. It says that it is going to prime, powder, conceal, BB cream. Everything in one. This sounds really interesting. But we're not going to only try this today. We are actually also going to try the new blushes and mascara from uh, Kaya Cosmetics. So if you want to see me using these products, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, this is the, um, I think, Valentine's collection from Kaya Cosmetics. I love Kaya Cosmetics products. Uh, I don't like the foundation and I don't like the concealer. Concealer I hate. Uh, but everything else I really enjoy from Kaya Cosmetics. And this is the uh, Valentine's Day collection. It's a, it's a cute packaging. And I only bought one shade of uh, matte and one shade of the powder blush and also one shade from cream because I do have blushes and I do have cream blushes so I'm not in a need to have more. For me it's kind of a waste of money a little bit but I chose the two shades that I really like. I like those kind of uh, orangey colors and this is the Kaya Matte Blush in Grapefruit Juice that kind of reminds me online like orange. But look at this color. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. Let me swatch it. It's pigmented. It looks really, really nice. Definitely my cup of tea. And for the cream blush, I did use, or not use, bought the Cupcake Glaze. And I feel like it's a really small packaging for the price. This is the packaging, it's really cute, but I think you get a lot of product in here. Let's just see. Yeah, you get a lot, well, not that much product, but I think it's a little bit expensive what you get because let me just show you i have the my favorite cream blush is from uh, cash beauty and this is the love language now use this a lot and you get much more product for the money this is how much you get kaya cosmetics and this is how you might of course this is a little bit thicker you get oh, i can't see without my glasses um 4.5 grams and here I'm not really sure how much you get from the this one but I'll put the information down below so I know I I like cream blushes but I feel um, I know you get a little bit of product I just my top okay let's just swatch it it's very not very similar it's almost like this color that I this is the color. It really is like a warmer tone of this, but we are going to use them today. We are going to use them today. And of course, the new mascara for oily eyelids. And that's what I have problem with. Very, very oily eyelids. And this is the new next level mascara. Now I do, I do like Kaya Cosmetics mascaras, but not, they're not my favorite. They do flake all of uh, the most uh, mascaras that I try from Casbah Cosmetics, but this is, uh, I don't like the packaging, but it's nice. We'll see. Next level. We'll try that today too. And let's go for the face. Let's prime my face. And I'm going to prime my face, I know, with what? Our glass, because I do have some left and I want to use it up. My favorite, favorite primer. I've been repurchased this a couple of times and I just love it. So I'm going to use this BB cream uh, as a concealer is everything because it says it's like a concealer and hope the color will match it because I'm going to go outside. Outside. And I won't 
to see how this is going to work. I am going to wear this the whole day. So watch till the end if you want to see how this is going to work on oily face and all combination, more oily face and also the mascara. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, cute packaging, nice. I don't know how to blend it. Let's shake, oh, we need to shake it. I don't know how we're going to blend it, if I'm going to use the brush or fingers or sponge. I have everything. I really like my Le Leia, but I'm, it's dirty, I need to wash it. Yes, but I'm not going to use it today because I don't think most of you have that. So I'm going to use the sponge, just so you know. But if you want to see my review of Leia, I'm going to put it somewhere up here during the video. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's nice and sealed. I love that everything is nice and sealed. And let's put some on. It's thick. Oh, it's very thick. It's very thick. And uh, maybe a little bit too warm for me right now. It's like a moussey texture. This is really strange. Really strange. Okay, let's just go in. Let's see with the finger. I don't like applying my makeup with the finger, so I'm not going to do that. Let's just use a brush. I'm going to use my makeup, makeup, makeup brush and just apply some on my face like this. Okay, there, there. So this is going to be like a BB cream. I don't think it's going to give me coverage or anything. I just think it's going to make everything look more even. Oh my God, the pack, it's everywhere. Okay, let's just see. I don't think it's going to give me a lot of coverage. I think it's going to be light coverage, but give me that nice even skin tone, you know, or even the skin tone a little bit. So it goes on very nice with the brush and I think I'm going to keep the brush just because I think it will give me more coverage than, than the, what's called, the sponge. So I I don't know if I will use this alone because I love more coverage than it, than it gives me. Uh, hmm. I don't like how this is looking on my skin. Can you see? It doesn't really look good. Okay, let's apply more. Maybe we should use a sponge to just on top to see if it's going to do something. So definitely light coverage. I know for, I would definitely use this maybe as a base for my foundation, but I feel like I w went in with a lot of product. So did I use a little bit too much? Probably. Probably because this is not a foundation, it's just a BB cream. And it's so hyped up. Maybe I use, I shouldn't have used primer because it says it's like a primer. You. Let's go in with it. Oh no, no, not with the sponge. Oh no, 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 don't go in with the sponge. Okay. Mm, I do not like how this is looking. Look at my cheeks. But I can't go in with the sponge because it just. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, you know what? Mm, it's turning into a disaster. I don't like this. I don't know. I do not like this as it's, it's by itself. Uh, primer, powder, concealer, BB cream. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have used primer, but I don't think it's the primer's problem. Is it? Should I remove? Okay, let's see. Is it the primer's problem? Let's remove this and see if it's the primer's problem. Because how it looks right now, I do not like it. We'll try it again. I don't like removing my makeup with a towel. This towel. It's not a towel. Wipe. 
Okay, okay, it's gone. Let's try it again without anything, okay? Without primer. Should I use my fingers? I hate the texture. Look at the texture. Oh my god, I don't like it. Okay. Oh no, I'm flying like a plane, makeup with my fingers. Okay, we'll do everything to make this work. Maybe it needs. Well, oh my, I don't, my nose hates everything. I think I offended my nose some, in some ways because it doesn't want to have any makeup on for a couple of weeks now. Okay, so it's on. I'm looking at my monitor, guys. I'm sorry if I'm looking at the side. I don't have my glasses on, so automatically I want to see my big face over here. Okay. Definitely looks better. Definitely looks better, but not, but no, not in a long way. It looks like it's just sitting. I don't know if you can see you're very close, but I don't know if you can see it's just sitting here in the pore, into the pores, or sitting on top of the pores. Like it's I do not like it. I'm not I'm not liking it. So I am going to use a little bit of concealer. I'm sorry guys. I'm going to go in with my Rebecca Stella's concealer because I mm, I need something more. So I am going to use my concealer and I'm going to use my Tarte concealer just to cover up a couple of spots. I feel like I need more coverage. This is just a little bit darker shade. I feel like I... Okay, I think we are not going to overdo, but just a little bit so I can feel normal. Maybe this is something for you that has that perfect skin. Not for me, that's 37 and have everything that you can have on your face. Scars, redness, dry areas, oily areas, wrinkles. I don't think that's for people like me. That's why we have this channel, to try and see if it's going to work for everybody or just people with perfect skin. And of course, people with perfect skin will love this product. So right now it's it looks smooth. Maybe it will work better when it kind of has some time to sit on my skin. We'll see. We'll see. I am just going to use just a little bit of the powder on the eyes to not just to set my concealer because it is going to crease. Just a little bit. because we are going to use the cream blush. Let's go in with the cream blush. This product, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll see, we'll see. Let me know down below if you tried it and how you will use it because for me it doesn't really work. And I'm having my coffee, it's cold. Okay, let's go in the for the cream blush. We are going to use a base cream cream blush and usually I just apply we'll see if it's going to work like applying it like this or you can use the finger I love the color I love these orangey pink colors oh it's blending really nice it's very um, the color is very nice it's pigmented, but it's not too pigmented that you can't work it. It's really, it's going on, is it? Wait. No, it's patchy here. What's wrong? Let's lose the sponge, one side of the sponge. Let's see if we can. I don't know if it's this product or if it's the blush, but definitely... 
Oh, it's not a blush. Okay, the blush, blush is really nice. I like the blush so far. Let's go in with the other side and we are going to put that other one on top. Yes, we are. Yeah, it, this is blending nice. I thought that it was patchy because the other side was just a little bit patchy, but it's not the blush. It's actually the product under it that wasn't really blended enough. The blush is so beautiful. I like it. And it's blending really nice. It's blending really nice. I like that. I like the blush. It's creamy, but it's a little bit powdery. I like the texture. I like the blush. I think the packaging is so cute. Let's go in with uh, this blush now. I love blushes. I'm going to go in with my Luxe, or no, what's called, blush brush. They also released the brushes for the blushes, but I didn't bought them because I have plenty of... Oh, wow. Well, I love that color. I like that a lot. The product under it makes everything looking not even, but it is even. Blush is definitely even. Kaya Cosmetics does make some beautiful blushes. We'll see if they are going to last on my face though, but yeah, I like that a lot. I'm definitely blushy today. That's nice. They are blending nice. I love that. I love that. The blushes are amazing. The corrector or the perfecter, perfecter looks okay. Um, uh, it did even my skin tone on a, a little bit, but I just, it feels matte. It feels like I don't have it on my skin, but I still feel a little bit uncomfortable because I'm, I'm more like a full coverage girl or at least more medium to full coverage foundation. This is definitely not my safe space, but still, 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 still. We'll play it like that. So I'm going to use mascara. Before I go that, I do want to put some brows on. And I'm not going to do any eyeshadow because I want to see if the, um, I'm not going to use any base on my eyelids and I'm not going to use any eyeshadow. I'm going to use the mascara to see if it's going to transfer on my oily eyelids during the day. That's a really good test because this claims to be for oily eyelids. So you claim a lot. So let's test it. Usually I always have eyeshadow, some kind of eyeshadow or at least some base, but I'm going to be that <clears throat> girl today. I want to say another to swear, but we're not going to swear on this channel. Um, yeah, I'm going to test that to see if it's going to crease or not. Not crease, but you know, transfer to the eyelids because I do have very oily eyelids. That's my weak spot on my face or my eyelids, hooded eyes and my oily eyelids. Okay, let's go for the mascara. We are going to curl the lashes and we are going to try. I always curl my lashes. I can't understand people that are not doing that. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in with this mascara. Let's see the wand. Okay, maybe. Mm, interesting wand. Spiky. I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of this kind of uh, wands because I always hurt myself, always blink and transform the mascara. This is not waterproof, I don't think, but it's going to Okay, it's not that uncomfortable though. Mm. It's not too sharp, that's good. Okay, so this is one coat. And it did something good. Look at my eyes. Wow. Mm. Okay. Okay. 
So this is one coat on mascara and immediately I'm loving the results with only one coat. I'm scared that it's going to flake and smudge. That's the thing that actually you know, turns me off when it comes to mascaras. I want my eyelashes to be long, full, like falsies, but not many mascaras can do that. Who the beauties one does? L'Oreal Paradise does something similar, but so far this is looking really, really good. I like that it does, you can make it look a little bit clumpier, but not, you know, overdo. It's not so lengthening, or it doesn't feel like that. Okay, so this is two coats, and I'm not going to build it up more, because I feel like it's going to just look to or clump it's going to clump together okay guys so this is the two coats with this mascara and right now i'm liking it i did get some mascara on my lids but that usually happens if i'm not careful and when i apply any mascara and i did blink a little too much so i had something under my eyes but i'm going to clean it up okay right now it's 11.26 and I'm going to have this on as long as I can uh, and I'm going to come back at the end of the day to talk about how this worked on my skin, how it lasted. I'm going to talk about how blushes worked on my eyes, on my cheeks and also how mascara lasted on my lashes. So if you want to see that so stay on, I'll be right back. Welcome back, let's take off my glasses. It's 8 p.m. and I'll be having this on for eight hours. Just a little bit above eight hours. And let's see how it looks. Let's just look at it. Mm. I do look shiny, I do look oily. I'm dry under, under my eyes, but terrible dry under my eyes. No why, but okay. Hmm. Let's talk. Let's talk. I have some thoughts. This one worked pretty good. It looks better around on my nose. I've been uh, sneezing a lot today, and my nose was running. So this not this is definitely not a foundation, and it's a slightly like a BB cream. Does do like a. Um, I don't want to say it covers, but it makes the skin tone even. And I will try to use it under the foundation because I'm curious how it's going to look under the foundation. Though I didn't like how it looked uh, on top of a, what it's called, primer, but we'll see. I'll play with it a little bit more. Let's talk about the mascara. Okay. The mascara looks really good on my lashes. Though, I don't know if you can see, it smudged a little bit uh, under my uh, low lash line. And on top, I don't know, more than I had before actually applied. So, but it did, did, I don't know if you can see here, it smudged a little bit. So, okay, it's easy to remove, just do this. Okay, so. The blush is still there. I love the blushes. I have to say, I really love the blushes. I love the cream blush. I love the powder brush. And the shades that I got are wonderful. And I think the other shades are also beautiful. It's just like, I, I don't need that much blush. So I didn't purchase those shades. But if I would like a pink one, I would definitely buy one from Kaya Cosmetics because they do have a beautiful uh, formula when it comes to when, when it comes to powders or cream products. I just don't like their concealer. It's a terrible product, but everything else worked beautifully for me. I do like this mascara. I think I like this mascara a little bit more than the other mascaras. I will definitely continue playing, uh, playing with it and use it because it looks to be a very good um, mascara. Yes, that. And yeah, I'm, I'm not blown away with this uh, Perfector, but it's not bad. I just don't think it's for me. That's almost 40 years old. I think it's maybe for younger audience out there. But if you tried it, if, I, if you made it work and you're really happy with this product, let me know down below how you made it work better for you. 
Maybe it's just my skin type that does, doesn't like this product as much as people really oh, raving about it. But guys, that was everything. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, hit that notification bell. YouTube likes to unsubscribe people, which is a shame. But let me know down, be down below your thoughts. Don't forget to be part of Didi family if you already aren't. I love you all and i see you in my next video. Bye!